When the, when the miners would come down from the mines, come past the Potter House, well, the girls are just as bad as we were. They, they'd be up there too, stand there, and the guys come by, you know. Anything in your bucket, mister? Anything in your bucket? <laughs> Them guys, a lot of guys would stop, you know, and, and give you some. Other guys would say, nah, I ain't got nothing. And uh, it got so after a while, a lot, a lot of those guys were would, would take sweets, you know, to the mine and never touch them. Save them for the kids on the way home. They thought the kids were starving to death. <laughs> and and uh, something that stayed in the bucket all day long, when you started to eat on it, you know, whatever was, else was in there with it, you could taste that in there too. If it was salami or something like that. Strikes, remember any mining strikes? Did you work during any of that, that time? Uh, I didn't work then, no, but that, that was in 34. I, I, went on, I went on the picket lines a couple of times to see what they were doing, but I wasn't, I wasn't a miner. No, it's too many, too many people yet. That was a nasty one. Yeah, that, 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 that thing practically divided the town. Huh? Tell us about it. Tell them how that Did was. Uh, tell them how that your mother and her, the, a lot of the old women would go out on a picket line, Bill, and then they spend time in jail. <laughs> your mother. <laughs> what? Your mother went to jail. Oh, a lot of them went to jail. Yeah, we we were all bachelors up on a hill up there. <laughs> yeah, tell us about that. How 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 that how did they end up in jail? Well, the women used to go out in the picket line, you know. They could get by with almost anything, especially like throwing eggs and stuff like that. And the, the fellows, some of the fellows up there, that one guy, he thought he could speak Croatian. He was the instigator and talked him into picking all these women up, you know, and take them to jail. Down there where... Um, you know where McManny lived, that brick building? That used to be the county poor farm down there years ago. And that's where they took them women down there from Roslyn and Cleallum and Ronald. And they had Mrs. Potsky, I guess was her name, was it? And she was, she was supposed to be like a caretaker. She, she had to stay with them. And she said she was never so happy in her all her life. With all the women there, they had nothing to do, you know, but sit there and eat and talk and laugh and sing. And she said every day they had a song fest, and they could sure sing real nice, she said. Yeah. What, um, tell us about when your dad worked in the mine. Huh? Uh, tell us about when, uh, when your dad worked in the mine and what what kind of wages he would get and what conditions were like, you know, and what it was like growing up as a miner's son. Well, are you to, uh, to referring to the first part of his working in the mine or what? Because then the, when they first went into work in the mine, they they got paid what they mined. Yeah, tell us. Yeah, that wasn't very much. Them days, they used to work all day for about two and a half, I think, something like that. <coughs> Am I fooling, following you up by moving around? No, you're doing good. Yeah, so tell us, tell us more about your, your dad. How you know he worked contract mine, and did he always work for Patrick, or what other mines did he work in? Well. He used to work in that number number six mine up there on a the hill. He worked in that one the, the most until after the strike. Then he went to work for Patrick's. But by then it was all mechanized. Then you you worked for a daily wage, and it was all all machine work practically. 
cutting machines and conveyors to load with. Did, when, when he died in the mine, was there any pension? You felt there was a pension for your mother or anything like that, like L and I that you'd have today? Have any what? Like a labor industry. When your dad died in the mine, did your mother get a pension, or what did you did your mother get some benefit? Or? Well, they uh, they uh, they try to say he died of cancer, but he was working five days a week, and uh, and, uh, and then Lawrence says, "How can a guy work for five days a week in the coal mine, be dying of cancer?" Then after a while, they said, "Well, he had a heart, bad heart." They they were trying all kind of different things. Then they finally, this. They performed an autopsy on him, and they, they found his lungs were full of, well, full of that carbon monoxide from that powder smoke. Yeah, she got a thirty-five dollars a month. That was in nineteen. That was in nineteen. Was he? That, he died in thirty-seven. That was about nineteen forty. Before she got it, had a lawyer for over three years. And that lawyer worked on a condition that if he won, you know, he gets half. Well, my mother didn't have no money. No one had money them days. And she, she so she says, okay. And after three years, he finally, he finally got the thing. But he used to work for the Department of Labor and Industries before, you know, fighting those kind of cases. And here he was presenting one to him, you know. Thirty dollars a month. That's all he got. No, thirty-five. Was there any of you or your, or your sisters, or anyone still living at home then? Huh? Who was any any Eva or you still living at home on that to try to get by on that thirty-five bucks a month? I was at home. My brother was at home. Oh, Eva, Eva. No, Eva was married. Just me and my brother, I guess. That's all. Other the three sisters were married then. And, and Mike, he stayed home until shortly after I got home from the army, and he got married then. I don't know, forty-nine or something like that, maybe. Yeah, about forty-nine. Heck, she never, she never got any money out of that deal. Not the way they do it now. They, they take pretty good care of them now. Your brain about all that can pick your brain. Of, of, 